Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 64 of Direwolf20's server play series. I wrote some very cool programs on a turtle, and some computers, and they're all talking to each other. Why don't I show you guys what I've got so far, and then we're going to break everything down, and we're going to rebuild it in a very cool and very interesting mechanic. And everything I'm going to build today is going to... Mostly, I'm going to say, probably be outside of the computer and turtle realm, um, but it's going to use the computers and turtles, and you'll see what I'm talking about pretty soon. So, uh, let's start taking a look at what I've got so far. All right, first off, dun-dun-dun, I've got three turtles. Uh, this is the first one, this is the second one, and then this guy right here is the third one, okay? Now, what they do is they automatically detect when there's items in their inventory, and it remembers what items are in what slot, and it remembers the names of the items in each slot, as designated by this computer. So let's start everything over real quick. I'm going to clear out the inventory of all my turtles. Um, now, the bottom three at the end there probably don't really count. I'll explain that in a minute. And I'm going to hit the rescan turtles button. Boom! Notice how it cleared all the screens, okay? Um, now, what we've got here is a list of all the turtles. So I'm going to go to the first turtle, and I'm going to pretend that I'm putting a linking book in the first slot, okay? Now that there's a linking book in that slot, I'm going to tell it to rescan, and it says, hey, I detected a new book. Please enter the name for that book on the computer. And I'm going to call the book Direwolf 20. Cool? Now it has a button for Direwolf 20 on the computer screen, okay? And whenever I hit that button, it's going to take that book and insert it in the chest above itself for about five seconds, and then it's going to pull it out. And during that five seconds, the screen is locked up and the button is green. Once it turns red again, uh, it has pulled the book out of the inventory. So basically what we have here is an automated way of putting a book in inventories and detecting uh, when there's something new going on there, right? So that's pretty awesome. What we want to do next is the following. We want to have these actually be books, and we want these three turtles to be on uh, three sides, probably something like this. Let's see. One two, three sides of a link book stand. Um, and the, the, the book carrier here is going to do all kinds of awesome stuff. So let's take a look at what we can do. Now, I would like to do a couple other things and automate a few things and other cool stuff like that. Uh, don't worry, we'll be having a lot of fun with it. So basically, my plan here is for people to be able to walk into the age... Okay, and there'll be a chest there. They open up the chest and they put their book in and it's going to get pulled out with some Billcraft piping. That book is going to go land in one of these three turtles. And I'm debating right now if I want to fill one turtle entirely or if I want to have it evenly distributed between the three turtles. I might go with the evenly distributed route because basically what happens here is the following. So let's go to turtle number two here and just like fill up his inventory. Um, and I'm going to rescan turtles. And I'm just going to fill it in with numbers. One, two, three, four all the way down. So I only have to have it counting up to 12 inventory slots because that's pretty much all that fits on the screen. You'll also notice that uh, I'm purposefully um, alternating and starting in the center and kind of going up and down because way up tall high is kind of hard to reach. So I don't really want to have to reach up there until this thing really gets full. So I want to kind of start in the middle and then go from there. Pretty neat, right? So uh, now obviously I can uh, issue this. So let's say I wanted to pop out inventory slot 4 here. So I'd hit that 4, and you'll see it, it does the pop out of the inventory slot 4. Cool, right? So that's uh, the little turtle thing that I've got going on. Now, um, what I'd like to do is make a few changes here. Right now they're um, putting the items above them because of the way we want the turtles to sit. We're going to want them to put the uh, items forward. That's not going to be a big change. Um, I'd like to add um, a couple other functionalities here, but basically it's working pretty well. Um, I'm going to clear out this turtle and rescan, and that should clear away all the numbers. Nice, right? If I clear this book out of here and rescan, it should get rid of that Direwolf 20 guy. Awesome. So let me get ready. I also, uh, why don't I show you this before I wrap up this segment, created a new age. Uh, I didn't like all the mine shafts out here. I also didn't like um, the fact that it got dark. I also, also um, didn't like the fact that I kind of wanted this to be a bright age. So I went ahead and uh, <clears throat> created a new age. Let's take a look. New Nexus Workshop cool place, right? So we've got a really neat looking blue sky. Um, even though I put the black symbols in, I just wasn't having any luck with symbols behaving the way I wanted to. But overall, pretty nice place, right? Um, we do have obelisks, as you can see, but that's pretty much the only random structures we have. We also have a pretty nifty um, thing there. You can just drop down. That'll send you back to the overworld spawn point. Nice, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to make this the new nexus. 
So let's see. Um, I might want this guy to behave himself. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So let's do this. Turn left. Oh, I'm going to need some more of this stuff. We'll just do this. Cool. So while that guy's building, I'm going to start knocking down uh, my old computer area. Don't worry, I've labeled all the computers so they'll retain all their code. I'm going to rebuild this kind of thing in the new Nexus. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm in my brand new Mistcraft age for the Nexus. Uh, you can see my turtle. Where did my turtle go? Oh, there he is. Okay. He was just building something out one block too far. Not a big deal, though. Everything else looking pretty good. So here's where I want my portal to be, and uh, debating where I want my computer to be. Because I'm, I'm thinking like, hmm. So you walk in, this will kind of be like a room. Do I want this to look kind of Stargate-ish, where I kind of make the circle shape? I might be able to pull that off. I don't know, I'll play with it a little bit. We'll decide. Uh, but if I'm going to make this a little bit wider, then I don't want my computer over here. We'll probably want it on this wall. So let's bump this wall out a little bit. And we'll probably have computer and turtles and monitors and such. Don't ask how it's possible for me to place those blocks and stand on the edge. I have no idea. But it works. All right. Ah, no modem on bottom. Right. There we go. Beautiful. Ta-da! Machine's ready. So what I want to do now is get some uh, build craft stuff and a couple other things. So let me get the ingredients I'm going to need for this, and I'll be back. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm getting ready to set this up. So let's see. Um, debating exactly how I want these to be laid out. I mean, I can always move it if I need to, so let's get it positioned now, and then if we want to change it up, we can. In fact, maybe I'll do this. Hang on. Maybe I should try just making this look a little Stargate-ish. Does that look kind of right, or not so much? I don't know if that'll work. Oh, look at that, it does. Cool. Eh, it's a little flat though, isn't it? Like I should bump it up one? Let's try that. This is Direwolf trying to make it look cool. and probably failing pretty miserably. All right, give me a second, guys. I have an idea or two. All right, guys, Jaded came and she agreed with me that I have no design aesthetics at all, and it looked terrible, so I, I gave up. I tried to say it nicer than that. You did say it nicer than that. I'm just stating a fact. <laughs> it's not at all right. So check this out, Jaded. This is going to be pretty awesome. You're going to like it, I think. You're going to have to come by when it's ready and uh, put a book in. Because then I already went back to my place. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting good. for it to be prettified. Yeah. Gonna need some facades. Forgot to bring them with me. So we're gonna build a nifty contraption now. Let's see. I wanna have probably the input chest 
here. So we'll have wooden pipe with a facade on top, and the chest can go on top of that. Cool. I should probably, this is going to be crazy looking. Well, that's not so bad. I thought it was going to be worse. So here we want to just basically run out some golden pipes, and I'm thinking we're probably going to want these to come up top here. So let me think, how's this going to work? Because I don't want it to be visible. Probably going to want, because I want a round robin pipe like I said, right? And the round robin here. And I can always put facades on these guys, I think. Hoping I can put facades on the round robin pipe. Yeah, I can. Nice. Okay, so it should come in here and round robin decide which one of these turtles to go into. Um, now, what I'm probably going to want is some stone and some cobblestone. Ah, you don't connect to cobblestone, huh? Nice. That'll do. Could probably use sandstone here. Don't know that I have any. If I don't, I'll mix them. I do. Good. That should do. Right? So it comes out and goes into one of the turtles. Cool. And of course, that'll all be covered up with facades, so that from this side of things, it just looks like a wall. But if you go on the back, you'll see all the coolness. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Let's just test this, covering it up and looking awesome. See? That's what it'll look like from this side. Nice. Now, the first thing I want to do is kind of get this thing situated properly. So, let's get you this guy in here. Hello. Who was that missed? Benny. Oh, Benny. What's up? Oh, we got a new version of extra bees and trees and all that kind of cool stuff. I'm very excited. And the new uh, magic bees. I means I was finally able to get my nether bees. I'm very, very excited. I'll show you guys real quick while I'm waiting for this thing to process. Over here, we've got some fancy new stuff from Vinny. Check this out. Uh, you can hold tab while over any slot, and it'll give you some details about how things work. So you can see input slot, what it does, how it works, what it accepts what it outputs, that kind of thing. Um, and then up here, there's an info about what it does and a help button. Neat, right? No serum. And we can finally insert in different sides. And there's a um, gate conditional. So I will be automating B serums very soon. Thank you, Benny. Alright, so I'm going to automate an idea or two here, but for now, let's get this set up and we'll say something like redstone signal off, energy pulse. And that should pull the book out of the chest. Cool. And the book should land somewhere over here. There it goes. It went into one of the turtles. We're going to rescan turtles and it's going to say, hey, there's a new book detected. We're going to call it Direwolf 20. Nice! It went into the right turtle. That's awesome. Cool. Alright. Now, where to from here? 
Good question. I will be back in a second because there's another component to this build that I want to do. Um, I haven't implemented it in the turtle code yet, so I need to get that part going. All right, guys, we are back, and I ran into some really big trouble. This is not cool at all. I just discovered the following. There's a bug in the current iteration of Mistcraft, which prevents these book receptacles from being interacted with by any um, pipes or turtles. Now I found a kind of a workaround. It's a little messy. This was a really clean and awesome build and this is something that's always worked. So I wasn't, I didn't actually test whether or not you could pull items out of inventories using turtles because like it's always worked and I've done it a couple different times. But uh, there's a current bug that's preventing me from pulling it out with the turtle. I have a workaround. I'm not happy about it, but I think I'll be able to get this to work. So give me a few minutes to come up with the plan. All right, we're back. I've got a router. And that is going to get a machine upgrade. And we're going to say only visit book receptacle. Okay. And we're going to be extracting from slot zero. Boom. Pull the Lincoln book out. Cool. Uh, but we don't want that to always happen. So let's get the following here. Probably want something like, oh, this is so annoying. Well, we could do, hmm, we're really going to have to mess with this a little bit. Because basically what I want to do here now is the following. Um, I want to, this will automatically pull the book out of the receptacle, which we don't want it always to do, obviously, because the moment we put it in, it's instantly pulled out. That doesn't help anybody. So we need to disable this with a redstone signal. So in order to do that, we're going to need something like this. Okay, now when there's a redstone signal applied to this block, we can, boom, put the book in. When the redstone signal is disabled, uh, let's say, really, no levers on me? Awesome. Okay. Demonstrating this, needs levers. I'm gonna do this with the turtles and it's going to really be not as cool as it was going to be, but it should work. There. Redstone signal applied equals book pulled out of inventory. Cool. You saw that happen, right? So that's what we need to do now. Um, but, so basically what I'll need is um, something like that. Okay. So what this is now is we can tell the turtle to put the book in the inventory and we'll see that the portal's open, right? Now what we have to do is the following. Turtle dot, uh, or no, we want to do redstone dot set bundled output, right? One. That should have pulled the book out. Oh, why aren't you connecting? Really? You won't connect? Awesome. Just because the modem's there, I'm guessing. That should have pulled the book out. Nice. See, the book's pulled out. And it's probably in the router. That's where I would expect it to be. Yep. So I need to do a little bit of magic to make this work a little better. It means I may not be able to do something I really wanted to do, which was um, have an extract button on the screen. We might have to make extracting from these turtles a manual effort. So if somebody puts a book in and they want to get it back, it may not be as easy because uh, now all the sides of these turtles are, you know, I have to actually have them move down to get the book out. So give me a minute. I will clean up this mess and be right back. And we're back, guys. I don't love this solution, but it is actually working. So hit the button, portal activate. No portal activate? Ah, yeah. I have to reboot. 
Let's try this again. Hit the button, portal activate. Now, after about five seconds, watch what's going to happen. He's going to activate the redstone signal, which pulls the book out by the router, and then the turtle goes down and pulls the book out of the router and puts it in the appropriate inventory slot. That's how this works. So it kind of is not nearly as cool as it was going to be with the turtle.suck function, but it at least works. I mean, I was getting really nervous here until I discovered that routers worked because I like spent a lot of time writing this code and building up this idea of how this is going to work. And for something like that to have broke it, I was like, oh no, please, come on, figure something out. And then finally, router worked. So pretty pleased. All right, let me see if I can still function with the whole removing of the book thing, because I really would like to have people be able to walk up here and be like, you know what? I want to take my book out and like hit a button, click on their name, and the book gets deposited here, uh, if possible. If not, not the end of the world. Uh, there's a couple other things I want to do too to make this thing even more automated and awesome. So I'll be right back when ready. All right, guys, we are back. And I've got this thing set up and working. So check it out. Here's what we've got. Um, I've got chests under here. The turtles can move down and drop books into chests just in case people feel like removing their books from the system. So right now you can see there's nothing in there, right? I'm going to put a book in. Go ahead. The book's going to make its way into one of these turtles. Once it's in there, I'm going to have it rescan. So let's see. There it goes, and boom, it landed in one of the turtles. I'm going to tell it to rescan, which should say, hey, there's a new book detected. I'm going to call it Direwolf 20. Ta-da! We now have the Direwolf 20 entry on the computer screen. I can uh, now click that, and what that's going to do is it's going to cause that turtle, it's going to find which one to send it to, it's going to drop the book into the chest below, and it's going to get pulled out and sent back upstairs. So that this way, now the book's back up here, and I can rescan again. Sweet. So I just need to make a few more changes, and this thing should be really good to go. All right, let's see if this worked. Clicking the button should cause it to open the portal, wait a few seconds, and then close the portal. And we should see one of the turtles back there move down and then move back up. Cool. And he's got the book. We should be able to click this again, and it'll open the portal and close the portal. And again, the turtle will move to close the portal. Got it. Nice. Now, if I want to remove the book, all I got to do is hit remove book. Oh, bug. All right, trying this again. Click button, inserts book, waits a few seconds, removes book. And again, all the red uh, rednet cabling and the, um, the router are all because of a bug with Miscraft preventing you from being able to pull the book out with the turtles. That would have been a little less complicated. All right, now let's try remove book. Should stay green, and then when I hit the Direwolf 20 book, it should, we saw it move real quick. And if we come over here, we should see the book show up in a moment. Cross your fingers. Ta-da! There it is. Nice. Uh, then we just have to rescan turtles after a moment. So what I'm going to do is make that automatic now. All right, one more test. Remove book. Direwolf 20. We should see that guy move. And then in about three seconds is what I set the delay for. Boom. You can see it rescan the turtles real quick. And then it removed, refresh the screen. I like it. All right, guys, we are back, and everything seems to be working properly. I'm just going to create the quick startup command of shell.run portal. And that should be pretty good. Now we just reboot, and we should see all the coolness. Now there's one more mechanic to this that I want to do. And I might require a little bit more rednet cabling, because I think I used more than I intended earlier. So let's find rednet in here. Set you up to craft it, please. There we go. That might be enough. We'll just ask for 64 plastic sheets. Couldn't hurt. Okay. While that's going, I will get... I have a basic gate here. So what I'd like to do is set this thing up to do one more nifty little trick. Good. You can't see anything, right? All right. Now to work. What I'd like to have this do is detect when an item hits this thing. So we're going to say items traversing redstone signal. 
and we'll run this red alloy or this uh, red wiring straight over to here. So red net cable, there you go. Okay, um, and we'll do the same for here. So if a book comes through here, you please also say items traversing redstone signal. Because what I want to do is trigger it so that as soon as an item passes through these um, buildcraft um, pipes, it's going to say, hey, there's an item there. I better check to see if we have any new books. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this computer to trigger that whole command thingy whenever um, it receives a redstone signal. And I am short one cable. How cool is that? Be right back. All right, first time test. We're going to cross our fingers, guys. I'm going to put the book in there, and hopefully this thing will do something. If everything's right, we mm -hmm. should get something cool happening right now. Oh, dude, did you see it flash rescan turtles? Nice. Look at that. New book detected. Please enter the name on the computer. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Nice. Look at that. And now, Direwolf 20 button available. So the plan here is that anybody can walk in, place their linking book in the chest, and instantly the computer is going to say, hey, go ahead and tell me, um, you know, how to name this book, and then it's always there. Now, if they ever want the book back, we just hit the remove book button, which we can turn off, by the way, but we'll keep it on and hit Direwolf 20. Cool. And that guy should drop it off. Now, what should happen is um, as the book passes through, it should instantly rescan, which it just did. Cool. I love it. All right. Excellent. Very pleased with that. All right, guys, so I'm going to put my book in for real this time. And we should see what happens. Manalian, bring a linking book with you. Manalian's coming up to try this out for me. All right, give me one second. Okay. Helps to have program running when testing code. Uh, does it need to be one already linked to my base? Yes. All right, uh, where do I need to go now? Interesting. Um, I'll teleport you up, actually. All right, I'm ready. Cool. Just put your linking book in the chest on the left. All right, so this one's the one that I have to go back here, and then this one's the one that my book. Why so in the chest? Pulsing? Yeah. Oh, I bet something's happening that's causing that rescan to pulse every now and then. I'll fix that in a minute here, guys. There you go. Cool. And then click on your name. And walk through the portal. You wind up at your base? Nice. Cool, right? Now I have to figure out why this is pulsing all the time. It's probably pulling other kinds of event. So give me a moment. All right, guys, we are back. And uh, I'm just, you know, doing a couple last minute tests. We've got everything covered up. So it looks very nice and hidden behind the wall here. Of course, there's a giant mess back here, but, eh, you know, nobody's perfect. I've got my uh, remove books functions working. It looks pretty well. There should be a second book showing up. Oh, hourly lag spike. Be right back. So here we go. Um, I don't know whose book that was that I just put in there. Hopefully it was mine. I guess we'll see in a moment. There it is. Direwolf 20. That does actually lead to my base, right? Oh, good, it does. Cool. And then we'll put this book back in. Um, and we'll call that Minikins. Should actually check to make sure that this thing's chunk loading proper area. Show lasers, please. Yeah. It's chunk loading everything. Good.
and we're good to go. Nice. I like it. So, uh, yeah. Want to visit Manalian's base? Click on his name. Ta-da! And the portal opens to his base. I don't think I've actually been to your place yet, Manalian. Well, this is a good time to do it because I'm actually completely rebuilding. I used to be a little ways away. Cool. Maybe I'll have to take a tour of your base next episode because, unfortunately... It's wrapping up point. So for now, Direwolf20 signing off on this episode of the server play series. Pretty excited. Oh, cool. You've got like a whole castle wall going on here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to check this place out. Do you have a... Oh, there we go. Nexus. Cool. All right. So uh, pretty pleased with the way this thing turned out. Uh, easy enough to run. Just walk up, hit a player's name, and through the portal you go to their base. Awesome, right? Um, I'm probably done with this build. I don't think there's much else I want to add to it. I'm really happy that I got it going so that all you have to do is put a book in here, it prompts you to name it, and you're done. If you want to remove the book, it's easy as much as hitting the remove book button and going. And if you want to manually rescan the turtles, it shouldn't be a problem. That's also an option. But that button shouldn't be needed now because we did set up all the um, uh, red net cabling. But you know what? It's nice to have it as an option cool right so for now signing off on the episode hope you enjoyed it like i said and as always take it easy <laughs>